Hello everyone, this vlog is going to show you my trip to the Honjo Life Safety Learning Center. This learning center is also a fire station, and outside the building, there are a few posters showing just that. My group and I came here to learn about four different types of disasters and how to prepare for them accordingly. The first disaster being earthquakes, where we all tested out the earthquake simulator. The really cool thing about this simulator is that it reenacted real earthquakes that have happened in the past. My group and I had the largest earthquake with a seismic intensity of 7. We were instructed to take a roly-poly pose by protecting our neck with our hands and rolling up into a ball on our knees. As you can see by our body still shaking, it's very hard to control your body during an earthquake. I found this simulator very useful because it will help me uh, handle earthquakes that might happen in the future. My group and I finished up with the simulator and then we headed off to our next simulation. The next simulation we went to was a fire escape simulator. And same as with the earthquakes, before we began, we were instructed about safety precautions that are necessary to take when there is a fire. In this simulator, I led my group, and we were instructed to stay low and cover our mouth with one hand while keeping the other hand on the wall to guide us. Every building in Japan has green lights that lead you to the exit in case of a fire emergency, so I use those to lead my group out of that room. After the fire simulator, we moved on to the rainstorm simulator. This session of the tour takes place in a little room that simulates the wind and rain you might feel during a rainstorm. Before beginning, we all had to suit up in proper rain attire, starting with boots that went up to our knees, followed by a trench coat with multiple zippers and buttons to prevent any rain from getting inside. After we all finished getting dressed, we were ready to begin the simulation. The simulation started with light wind and rain, but soon after, they both increased greatly. Because the wind and rain were so strong, we were instructed to keep our heads down to protect ourselves. While these tactics may seem self-explanatory, actually being able to experience what it might be like in a real rainstorm was a very good experience. After the rainstorm section, we moved on to the flood section. The first simulator in this section is supposed to recreate the feeling of being trapped in your car with water surrounding you. During this simulator, I was pushing the car door against the equivalent of about one foot of flood water. The next section in this simulator was very similar, except we were pushing open a regular door being blocked by flood water. Once again, I chose about one foot of flood water to push against. As you can see, this was much harder than the car door, and I even threw in a little flex at the end just to celebrate a little bit. After that, our tour was over, so thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.